Welcome back, students. Mr. Kirk here. Uh, we are finishing up the force and motion units. So we're going to go in. We're in chapter three. And today, uh, or at least watching this, you're going to do lesson 3.3, the effects of collisions. Okay. We are going to do the warm up here. And it's fairly involved, so you're going to start off by making a prediction. So in a collision, how do forces affect the object? So predict what's going to happen when two objects collide. You have three options. That they'll both change velocity, only one will change velocity, or neither will change velocity. And then after you make that prediction, I want you to go to the, the simulator here, do the drop-down menu, all the way down to the very bottom, 3.3 warm up, and you'll get this set up for you. And uh, we're going to first, you're going to start off by recording the mass of each object. So you just match the color up with down here. Okay. And we're going to run these different tests <clears throat> where we're going to change the starting velocity of each object according to the table. We're going to press run to observe it. Then we're going to analyze it and then we're going to record. All right. So right down here, you're going to put the mass of object A, and the mass of object B. And kind of like what we did in uh, the previous lesson, 3.2, we are going to start off with this object going five centimeters to the right and this object not having any velocity at all. We're going to run, let that play out, and then we're going to click Analyze, where we can go back and take a look at what happened. And you'll use that to see the change in velocity and fill this out. Now, remember, the change in velocity is the last number over here uh, in the table. And so just make sure your scrubber is at the end here, where you can copy these numbers down. And you'll do it for each of these five. Uh, so the nice thing is five centimeters per second to the right is the default. And that stays the same. We're just changing the initial velocity of object B. So after you do that, record the change in velocity. Think about these two different questions. What do you notice about the change in velocity on those objects? And why do you think the objects in each collision experience a different change? Okay. For activity two, this is an article that you've already read about uh, collisions. And I just want you to go back to paragraphs three and four, and I want you to reread those paragraphs so you can answer these two questions. Remember to use complete sentences when answering them. So just answer them and click hand in. We are going to skip uh, activity three and go straight to the homework. And the homework here is uh, fairly straightforward. We have uh, Sherman telling a story about collisions. So you're going to read this. Um, comic strip and then you're going to answer this question. How would you finish the explanation to Sherman, why do colliding objects of unequal masses experience different effects? And again, I want complete sentences. Then click two down here. And that's a new article, Wrecking Ball. I would like for you to read this article and uh, have three annotations in the article and come down and answer these two questions. When you answer these two questions, you'll hit hand in and you are done with lesson 3.3. Obviously, if you have any questions, you can feel free to send me a message and remind or put a comment in the Google Classroom feed or send me an email and I will get back to you.